22, no problem. Sa-a-a-a-a-a-u-an. Sean. Shuo-a-an. Sa-a-a-a-a-u-an. A year wow, what happened to this beast? Sauron. So spins you live. Twenty six teardrops in the heavy rain. Cool man. Twenty one, twenty one, twenty one, twenty one, twenty one, twenty one. Hey, I think my frog might be sick. Ready to watch Three Stooges type shit from this very, very serious game. Oh jeez. Game makes it heavy rain out my eyes. Yay. One year baby, yay.
So Spence Payne. Sixteen moths, all of them for Scorpy. Do it for the sad dad. That's what, that's what, that's what our son could sound like if we, if we pushed the swing properly, but we did it. That's yes, I'm saying our, I'm saying our son because I'm, because we're Ethan. We are, we are, we are Ethan. What's the Ethan's last name? Mars. Ethan Mars. If you didn't watch the last stream, I was going to say Winters. Lord, Lord, Lord. Thank you, Sans, from Kingdom Hearts 4. I didn't even know there was a Kingdom Hearts 4. Thank you for the scorb. Appreciate the scorb. That, pu that pushed the hype train past level 5 for a beautiful 157%. Welcome to the stream. If you missed the last stream, uh... Let me try and recap it for you. Um, let's see. There is a character called Ethan Winters. He is a white dad, a white man dad robot. And he loves orange juice. And he is an architect who draws only lines. He only knows how to draw lines. And he loves to pee. He pees literally everywhere he goes. Um, and he's got wife, wife. Wife has a wife timer, so Ethan's always on a timer until a wife comes home. Wife comes home, Ethan doesn't really do much. Ethan doesn't really change. Ethan's not really there. Uh, and then um, Ethan goes to Ethan goes to mall with son Jason, and son Jason, uh, Ethan Ethan uh, stares blankly into a void, and son Jason wanders off. And uh, everyone is white at that mall. Let's not forget. And um, Jason walks, uh, has a red balloon. Ethan goes, Jason might be out looking for the clown because Jason loves the clown. And um, and so Ethan goes to clown. Jason's at the clown. Amazing. We found Jason. Not as scary anymore. Jason wanders off again because Ethan has a full ride stare and he gets lost and he looks at the wall and he just gets sucked into a void. And then Jason walks off and gets lost again. And then Ethan finds Jason. You know where? On the sidewalk, about to cross a road. A car is approaching. Ethan sees the car and Jason and breaks out of his trance and says, oh, fuck. Ethan jumps in front of the car 
while holding Jason to try and save son Jason's life. Ethan takes about 90% of the, the brunt of the hit. Uh, the car is also going really slow. So, um, but son Jason dies regardless. Um, and uh, father Ethan Mars is very sad. Um, other son Sean, also very sad. Ethan tries to, dad Ethan tries to make son Sean happy, but fails in every way. Cannot push the swings. Uh, forgets that son Sean hates strawberry candy. And uh, in general, um, just doing a really bad job. And then um, Eth uh, Ethan loses Sean. Son number two lost. Uh, and it turns out that son Sean has been kidnapped by the origami killer. Who is a killer who puts people into sewers. And waits for the rain pile up which is why it's called heavy rain if it rains a lot then the origami killers uh victim is a, is gonna die and that son son sean is the origami killers next victim so uh father ethan going crazy mode goes on the highway driving fucks up crashes the car almost instantly and then wanders off to a motel where we meet uh female uh a female character madison who uh the only uh introduction we've had uh, was her being attacked. Um, that's pretty much all we know about female Madison. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, drives cool motorcycle and wears cool jacket. Uh, and it was a dream. Yeah, that wasn't real either. So, we, yeah. Meanwhile, the tech private detective Scott Shelby, old man, white too, uh, is uh, looking for the origami killer. Uh, Scott Shelby, private detective, keeps fucking up. Scott Shelby goes to motel and talks to, to a witness or something. I don't forget. I forget. Uh, and then gets the shit beat out of him and then laughs and leaves. Um, and then uh, goes into a... a a convenience store run by what well, I can only assume is a stereotype called Hassan and uh, Hassan's son was another uh, origami killer victim and so Scott Shelby goes hey I want to talk about your son Saddest orange uh, juice. department store clerk goes no way um, and then uh, department store gets robbed by Jesse Pinkman Jesse Pinkman uh, is about to rob the store when Scott Shelby private detective steps on a bag of chips and fucks up and then Jesse Pinkman points the gun at Scott Shelby and says hey put your hands up Scott Shelby doesn't know how to do that Scott Shelby gets shot uh, Jesse Pinkman leaves and Scott Shelby uh, saves the day and gets all the information he needs and then he leaves um, and also let's not forget about Norman Jaden who is a FBI investigator who loves to play VR ball uh, breakout uh, hits a ball against the wall uh, he has to take blue liquid to... He's addicted to blue liquid. Who That blue liquid allows him to stay in VR for longer. Um, and... Now, Norman Jaden is aware of the origami killer. So now, Norman Jaden, FBI investigator, addicted to blue, who also loves VR, um, is now on the hunt for the origami killer. And Scott Shelby is also on the hunt for the origami killer. Ethan uh, Mars is also on the hunt for the origami killer and nobody knows what the fuck Madison's doing because she has like three lines so that's pretty much it Madison is woman this game is 3d this game is interactive you're all caught up I think you're all caught up So that is what you missed the last stream. And it's all very sad. Yes, let's not forget that. And so the last stream we left off right at the beginning of the Norman Jaden grocery store chase. Welcome Scott Shelby. We left off right at the beginning of the Norman Jaden uh, grocery store chase. 
where Norman Jaden is investigating a lead on the origami killer. So that is where we'll be st we will be starting off. Uh, so that's a recap. That's that's what I could do to the best of my abilities. Uh, I think I did a pretty good job. Anyways, I hope your I hope your week's been good. I hope you've been having a good week. It is the middle of the week. It is Wednesday. So I thought for a little middle of the week treat. We could revisit a heavy rain. I don't know if we're going to finish it tonight. I kind of doubt it. Last time we spent about four and a half hours. And I feel like we're a good two hours into the game. I feel like for every hour of gameplay, we spend two hours. So you got your Steam Deck. Sick. I've been toying with the idea of getting one, but that shit is expensive in Canada. And I have a Switch. And I'm afraid that if I do... I'm afraid that if I get a Steam Deck, I'll be like, oh man, I could do so much shit with the Steam Deck. I could do so much shit, and I'm not gonna do anything because of how much I can do. I'm the type of... I'm the type of gamer... Gamer? I'm the type of gamer who needs restrictions. I need to be... I need to... I need to have no choice. Because otherwise I get overwhelmed. If I have too many choices, like when I travel with my Switch, I bring one game. I'm forced to play that one game. I finished Pikmin 3 on Switch this weekend. That was sick. Um... That was a lot of fun. I love Pikmin 3. That was the second time I beat Pikmin 3. I beat it on the Wii U years ago. I love that game. Um, the gold guy. Gold guy was scary. But yeah, the Steam Deck looks cool. But I think I'm going to invest, instead of investing money into a Steam Deck, I'm going to invest money into a, a DJ. A DJ deck. If you were there Monday night, you caught the midnight uh, DJ stream where I was learning how to DJ. And I got, pr I got pretty, pretty far into it. I feel like I got pretty comfortable. I got comfortable enough that I was like, you know what? I'm going to invest money into uh, a, a very a cheaper version of that because the the DJ deck that was in the game that I played, which is called Tribe XR, it's fantastic. If you want to learn how to play, uh, if you want to learn how to DJ, that's like one of the best ways to do it. It's a VR, basically a VR DJ simulator. But the deck in that game is costs upwards of ten thousand dollars, so. I'm going to get a, maybe something that's a couple hundred and see what happens. So that's like a real club DJ set. That's like a legit thing. That's not something an individual would probably buy. Uh, so, so yeah, we'll see. Invest, invest in origami killer. They're all the rage. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm just going to, I'm going to get a little more affordable DJ deck. And I'll probably stream myself playing around with that. I'm still, that VOD will probably be up somewhere, maybe on the Patreon, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'll put it up. It's, it's just a really like, part in the wind type of stream, but uh, it was a lot of fun. There's that one part where I mixed uh, Yugi saying, I did not become a master dueler by smoking marijuana with Passion Fruit by Drake, and that worked very well, I felt. I feel like that was good. I should put that up somewhere. I wouldn't be the world's best duelist if I smoked marijuana. So that'll be up somewhere, somewhere sometime. Uh, but yeah, tonight's heavy rain. I'm excited to hop back into this game. I got myself some snacks. I'm hydrated. I'm feeling good. I took care of my skin today. I got... I got a nice compliment on my outfit today. Went to go get a slice of pizza. And the person was like, I love your overalls. Well, they said, I love your whatever you're wearing. I don't know what to say, how to say it. And she called them trousers. And I said, you're half right. And I don't think, I think that joke was lost. I thought it was a funny joke. But either way. Subay. 26. Wowee. 
Love to streams. I said, I said, I said you're half right because I, I am wearing trousers, but also there's the top part. You know what I mean? <laughs> I am like really past that. <coughs> I think that like Loki kind of. I don't know if I was being hit on. They're probably just complimenting me. But anytime someone does that that I don't know, I start to like. I will like overthink my response a million times, and I'll just dumpster my response hardcore with like a really intricate joke, and they'll <laughs> just kill the mood completely. Wow, when I said, she was like, oh, I like your outfit. What, I forget what the name is, like trousers. And I'm like, well, you're half right. And there was a silence. And I'm like, they're because they're overalls, but I'm technically wearing pants. So it's, you can't have, but it's like half the outfit. I was, it was so bad. It was so bad. It was so hey, bad. Hey, Scoppy, what's up? What's Scoppy? What's Scoppy? The pizza was pretty good, though. And I'm also throwing myself under the bus, I think. I think it was still a nice interaction, and uh, I left that interaction happy. You're half right. I just didn't get. I mean, the amount of times I make a joke to someone I don't know and it's like just does not work is it's more than just when someone compliments my outfit it's like literally almost every time I meet someone it's like a rite of passage at this point I've gotten you I've, I've got I've, I've managed to find the fun in, in those interactions I'm the same when I when I see someone with an outfit that I really like. I just want to tell them that's a sick outfit. Thanks, trouser connection. Because if it feels good, if it feels good for someone to compliment my outfit, and it makes me and it makes picking my outfits a little bit easier in the future, then I might as well provide that feedback. To the to people I don't know. It's still intimidating though. My best interaction like that. Sorry, I'm having a, a, a nature valley before I begin the stream, or before I get into the game. My favorite interaction like that was I was leaving. There was like a bar or a restaurant or something. Just a place where you eat and drink. I was leaving with my friends. And I saw someone with like a sick coat. Like a big, comically puffy yellow coat. I just went, sick coat. I like your coat. I was, I was still walking. Like I didn't even expect an answer. And the person turns and goes, nice face. And I was just like, I had no idea what, how to respond to that. I was, I was like, nice coat. They're like, nice face. I was like, thank you? I don't know. I was just so caught off guard. I was like, that's cool, I guess. I think that was the, I think that was the funny, I think that was the funniest uh, intera compliment interaction I've ever experienced. It was one hell of a response. Nice face. <laughs> Where'd you get it? <laughs> Where'd you get it? Entering the darkest, deepest chasm, I expect it to only be half as deep as this game. Smile. Oh, you have no idea. I think at the, the point that we're at in this game, it becomes a mixture of like, it becomes like Saw. Like, it's really like Saw. Like, Ethan, Ethan Mars' whole storyline from this point on is really just like a jigsaw, like trap type of thing. You should have gotten the Goosebumps shoes. I fucking wish because... I wish. I wish. Because I got a manicure for the first time a couple weeks ago. 
and they let you pick out your colors for your nails. And I've picked slime green and purple. Because I was like, uh, Goosebumps nails. And I wish I had the Goosebumps shoes to match. That would have been so good. But I don't know if there's purple on the Goosebumps shoes, though. You got your tissues for the saddest game ever? Yes. Pack pack them up. Get those tissues. Green and orange. Orange would have still worked, I guess. What are the Goosebumps shoes? New Balance has like Goosebumps Kawhi Leonard shoes. They might still be in stock. I don't know, but I'm just scared to spend that much money on shoes. I got the Goosebumps nails. That was my first manicure ever. It was cool, but I bled a lot. Felt like I went to the dentist. Bad Cuticles Club, rise up. That's what happened. So, yeah, I went to get a manicure and she was like doing, you know, whatever, doing shit. And I started bleeding so much. And she's like, oh, you're, you're bleeding a lot. Okay. And she keeps going. And almost every nail started to bleed. And she was like, whoa, you got some big cuticles, dude. I'm like, how is it my fault that I'm bleeding? I feel like it might not be my fault. I don't, I don't think it's the cuticles fault. She kept going. Yeah, she kept putting this blue substance on it. Maybe that's why I do VR now. Hey. That's not supposed to happen. I'd ha I have... I don't even know what cuticles are. Let me Google this. What's a what's a what's a cuticle? Because yeah, she was like, "You got big cuticles. That's why you're bleeding." Cuticles. Ah, I see. It's like a little crust of skin at the bottom of the at the bottom of the nail. I have big skin? Or how does that work? Thick? They're supposed to moisturize them so they don't bleed. Th they did. Like, I soaked my hands and they moisturized my hands, which was nice. And then they started chipping away the cuticles and, um, yeah, and I started bleeding. And, um, and it got even worse. The next day... Did it hurt? Not kind of, but not really. It wasn't like ow. It wasn't pain. It was just irrit it was irritating. Um, but the next day, the next day I went to like a, a festival, and I was putting my hands in my pockets constantly to you know get stuff out. And I, by the end of the day, all of my cuticles were bleeding. It was crazy. All of my cuticles were so messed up. My hand looked like I'd put it in like a, like a, not a blender. <laughs> but I looked at my hand at the end of the day and it was like the bottom of each nail was just red. It was just dry blood. I was like, what? So I don't know. The manicure was like 15 bucks though. So I mean, worth it. Worth it. Yeah, the Goosebumps look was complete. That's the price you pay, so it's a- it's- That's an alarmingly cheap manicure! <laughs> that's what I was gonna say, it's the price you pay. You bleed, but it's cheap. So you know what? Go, gotta go again to strengthen your cuticles? I was thinking about that. It's like when you floss and you bleed a lot. The more you floss, the less you bleed. Maybe it's the same thing. The more you go, the less you bleed. Do you bleed? Are you sure about that? I don't know. I keep on comparing that experience to the dentist, and I, that's probably not the experience you want from a manicure. So, maybe that says something.
next time though i want to get designs i want to like i want to get someone who can do custom designs and i want to get all of the team fortress classes on my nails <laughs> There's enough classes, right? I'm pretty sure there are. What's the 10th nail? It'll be the TF2 logo. Or it'll be the ball from SM underscore ball. Or a pumpkin. But yeah, I wonder if that would be really hard to do, probably. That would be funny as fuck. That would be really funny. If I was in public and I saw someone with TF2 nails, I'd be like, fuck, how do I interact with this person where we become friends instantly? Because the, I'm never going to see that for the rest of my life. I can't let this opportunity pass. You are supposed to push your cuticles back as they are too big, but don't cut them. But they didn't cut my cuticles. They pushed them back. That's that's uh, that's what they did. They had this little scraper thing that they pushed my cuticles back with. And then they would kind of trim around. It was quite nice. I definitely felt... It definitely gave me that after-dentist feeling of when you're clean. Like, I really felt like I had really clean fingers. You only push them back if you're putting product on. Well, they did put product on. They put a lot of product on. They put on this, like, glaze. And then they waited a little bit. And then they put on the actual nail polish. And I had to put my hands in, into a UFO to, to dry them. It was like this UFO looking thing and there were party lights in it, like like LED like flashing party lights in it. It was pretty fucking cool. That was actually super sick. I would recommend if you're curious about getting a manicure, do it. Nice link. Nice link, Suze. Yeah, if you're, if you're thinking of getting a manicure, just do it. Like, I didn't, um, I didn't, I expected them to be like 50, 60 bucks, but they're actually really affordable. So it's like the cost of, uh, it's the cost of a meal, essentially. Pretty cool. After getting a, a manicure, though, I don't think I would get a pedicure. I don't think I want that experience on my feet. My hands were bleeding. It's because I have bad cuticles. Ever get your eyebrows waxed? No, but I got my face waxed once. Drops of rain. I got my face waxed once. Like my facial hair. <laughs> it was absolutely awful. It was absolutely awful. It was so painful. It was when I was like growing up. When I was growing up. I mean, my mom didn't know what the fuck to do. Cause I'm like the only boy in the in the family. So instead of getting me a, like a razor for my face, she just tried to wax my face. And it was the worst experience ever. It was so bad. That's being dramatic. It was not the worst experience ever. It was really fucking bad. <laughs> and I'm now I'm looking back at it, I'm like, I don't think my mom knew what the fuck she was doing. <laughs> so you have kid me going to my mom being like, I don't, people are making fun of me for having a mustache before everyone else. I want to shave my facial hair. And she was like, well, a way to do it instead of shaving is if you wax, then it, it goes, you know, it goes away for longer. And I was like, okay. It was, uh, 
I didn't shave for a little bit after that, and I just got a random electric razor after that. Awful. She's trying to help. Oh yeah, I don't hold it against her, but... It's fucking funny looking back at it. I don't think anyone knew what the fuck was happening. Alright. It's been 30 minutes, holy shit. Let's, uh... Can I shave now with a razor? I did this weekend. I think we should get to Heavy Rain. I think it's been so long that I might actually have to announce it in the... Holy shit, yeah, it's been like... Oh my god, it's almost 9 o'clock? Holy fuck. Okay, I'm actually gonna re-announce it in the Discord, because... It's actually been... It's almost been an hour. That went by so fast. Um, let's see. You ate a whole pizza system stream started? That sounds so good. I had a slice of pizza today. Oops, I just made the same announcement text. Wait. We are actually starting now, ha. Huh? There you go. Okay. All right, let's move. Oh, fuck. This music's so happy. Let's get some sad music in here. All right, get your tissues ready. It's time for heavy rain. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to copy the saved games somewhere safe so that if we majorly fuck up the grocery store chase, it's not lost forever. We could actually redo it. So I'm going to give it a try and fail every QTE at the beginning. Just to see, because that apparently that's really phony. Rain is heavy. It begins. All right. So, we were at the covered market. Let's see. Norman Jaden. Norman Jaden is uh, investigating a lead on the origami killer. Is the game really loud for anyone else, or how's the balance doing? to my voice why didn't you shoot sorry it's pretty loud well back there nathaniel could have had a gun could have killed me there you go this should be better shoot i prefer to have all the information before i make a decision i try to make rational choices when possible come on you had a fraction of a second to react could have whacked you before you had time to move Oops. wait let me turn it down a little bit thank you for the gifted soup though i appreciate it it was good. I'm Oops. Sorry. I thought you were a tough guy. A street cop <laughs> who's been through the mill. I didn't think you'd scare so easily. 
Why don't you fuck you off, tough. Norman? <laughs> Why do you gotta say it like that? Norman. That's him. Here's La Porta. Yeah. Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Oh, this is not the supermarket Shit, chase, is it? He's gonna get away. Stop that guy! Hey, man, watch ah. it, dude. Get him! I we we have to get actually into the market before I fuck up. Oh fuck! Okay, so I, so I failed too many. Shit! I lost. I wanna put out an APB. That son of a bitch won't get far. Okay, so I'm exiting. It's a good thing that I saved. That I uh, kept that save. So we saw what it looks like when you fail everything, and uh, it cuts the chase off early. So what I'm gonna do is we're going to do this again. And I'm going to try and not fail. I'm going to try and see what kind of wiggle room I have. How many I could fail and keep it funny, but also not like ruin the chase. Yeah, maybe for the door is f the hilarious. The door is hilarious. The orange is hilarious. I think everything else I'm going to try and succeed at. The door is so good, though. If you do one QTE in between, like, three fails, it resets the fail state. Yeah, so just not too many in a row. The door is so fucking good. I can't believe he... That really was some Looney Tunes-ass shit. Why didn't you shoot? Sorry? Well, back there, Nathaniel could have had a gun. Could have killed me. Why didn't you shoot? I prefer to have all the information before I make a decision. I try to make rational choices when possible. Oh, come on, you had a fraction of a second to react. You could have whacked me before you had time to move. You're alive. He's behind bars. Everything worked out. So don't start busting my balls with your postmoderns, okay? God, the wow, his face looked really fucked up there. That's him. Postmodern. I wonder what happens if you never leave. It'll probably just stay. The same. Here's La Porta? Yeah. Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. He's too shy. Oh. Oh. Shit, don't just stand there. He's gonna get away. Also, why is it that ah. Blake does nothing? Hey, Blake man, just stays that? back. Why is Norman doing all the work? Whoa, I almost failed that one. Oh, the coffee in the face did hurt a lot, I guess. Oh, fuck a door! <laughs> hey, watch it, man! Whoa! 
Oh, boxes! Oranges! Oh! I think I might have to restart. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Let's, let's re let's re it really is. You have to. It's just you have to strike a perfect balance between how many you fail and how many you succeed. Like now we know what the funniest the funniest fails are. You know what I mean? World's funniest fails. Fail factory. So we know that the frozen the, the, the seafood is good. That's some Looney Tunes shit. The tomatoes are fantastic. The oranges I mean. The door. Those are our top three fails. Norman Jaden fails. Chase fails. Need a laugh track? Oh, I wish I, I could set that up this quick. Sorry. What well, back there? Nathaniel. I have had crowd a gun. booing and cheering. Why didn't you shoot? I prefer to have all the information before I make a decision. I What's try to this? make rational choices when possible. Come on, you had a fraction of a second to react. You could have whacked me before you had time to move. Whoop! That's not that. I'm sorry. I thought you were a tough guy, a street cop who's been through the mill. I didn't think you'd scare so easily. Why don't you fuck off, Norman? Norman. Norman. His little smile. Happy Norman, That's Jayden. him. Why don't you fuck off, Norman? Miroslav Korda? Yeah? Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Oh, oh how could I? I, how, I, how, I should have seen that coming. Stop that guy! Oops. Hey, man, watch it, dude! Oh my god, a door! <laughs> That's never not fucking funny. Hey, watch it, man! Whoa! The oranges! What about my tomatoes? What kind of response is that? What? 
Oh my god, failing the chickens makes you fail the chase. So it, what? Shit, I lost it. You put out an APB. That son of a bitch won't get far. Damn, you really can't fail the fucking chickens. That's, wow. They really punish you for, for, for failing the chickens. Holy shit. All right, the next one, I'm gonna, is this the whole stream? No, the next one is the last one. Cause I actually wanna play the game. I hate these damn birds. I feel like after the chicken though, it's probably okay. You, when this game first came out, you could fail each one of them and still pass. Thank you for the bits. Do a poll. You want to gamble on these QTEs? You want to gamble on if we're going to lose the chase? Yeah, if a mod wants to do that. Why didn't you shoot? Sorry? Or, well, back there. Listening to this a gun. conversation again. Me. Why you shoot? I prefer to have all the information before I make a decision. I try to make rational choices when possible. Come on, Coming you up. a fraction of a second to react. You could have whacked me before you had time to move. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were a tough guy. A street cop who's been through the mill. The mill. I didn't think you'd scare so easily. Why don't you fuck off, Norman? Norman. That's him. Norman. Sure. Who's been through the mill? <laughs> Miroslav Korda? Yeah? Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Just going out for a little walk with a coffee. Oh. Shit, don't just stand there. He's gonna get away. Oops, whoa, holy shit! <laughs> that was a genuine mistake. It's just like Jason. Tomatoes. Hey man, watch it. Hey man, what's the problem? Go through the chickens. What? Oh, that's the end of the chase. Okay, so we really didn't. We were at the end, basically. We did it. Oh, well, I don't remember there being game. Game. What? Uh, what the fuck is happening? What? We can't even shoot. Oh. Damn place is freezing. My hands are numb. Where the fuck is Blake? Shit! Where'd he go? I can't see anything here. <coughs> Come on, show your ugly bastard face. No way he's escaping. I'm gonna get that bastard. Hmm. 
<laughs> fucking physics are incredible. <clears throat> oh! Let's fight! Oh! Oh shit! Let's go! <laughs> oh! Oh! Blake! What do you think he's eating right now? I think he's still got a bit of cheese from the poutine he ate earlier in his mouth. Strangely intimate scene. Mm, I want to turn on the light. Well, actually, on second thought, no. Fuck it. Light for me. I deserve that. Wee. <laughs> Rocking chair. Ah, my trusty gun. Strange animation. Ah, my trusty badge. From the good old days when I used to be a cop, now I'm a private investigator. Is he or is he still? I don't think he's a cop anymore, right? That's the whole thing. <coughs> he's got his own like business or something. He's a he's a PI. He's an ex-cop. Uh, do I want to read? No, I don't want to read. Well. Might as well check my drawers. Ah, good old inhaler. Look at his face. I've never done that after using an inhaler. <laughs> well, Scott Shelby's an innovator. Ah, oh, this book is so boring. God, it's so boring. All oh, the text. Fuck that book. Whatever. 
I'm leaving. <laughs> it's fucking posture. Everyone's a fucking robot in this game. I haven't been sleeping well since the murder started up again. All the newspapers are talking about Sean Mars, the kid who disappeared. I've seen the parents of all the victims, and all I've come up with is a telephone and a box of origami figures. Why? Why is this even an option? Why would you let me do this if it's for nothing? What? What was the point? What? Look at these. <laughs> On Penn Square. Let's go there. Oh ah, the fucking. Are those supposed to be him? Are those even real people? These look like strange pictures. Thank you, January. Oh, uh, let's go on the couch. <laughs> Throwing it back. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to sit down. Oh, no. The wife timer. I didn't even get to my orange juice. Look at this fucking fridge! 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 Is this Lauren Winters? I knew it. You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Can I come in? Sure. Do you want to see my fridge? It says fridge on it. Let me take your coat. God, PS3 cloth physics. That coat was just an FPS. Please take a seat. Dax just didn't even try not to sound French. <laughs> Didn't really expect to see her again. Wonder what she wants. Sorry, I'm fucking up right now. I can't manage to find my way to my chair. Hold on a second. It's so embarrassing. There we go. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it. Oh my god, this shot. <laughs> That's the last time I saw him. What else? <laughs> you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. Thanks. How are your eyes closed when you did that? No, he's about to fall asleep. Oh, nothing particular. Except 
The address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Huh? I've, there were so many other options. Why did not... Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking. Yo, oh shit! Something. It looks like it was all type of the old typewriter. Ever Thanks for this letter. I'm thinking, and I, I want to come with you, help you in your investigation. I'm not a clear firm. firm. I'm sorry, Lauren, but that is out of the question. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. <laughs> It's fucking off. It's alone. Listen, dangerous. An investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? Look this at my fucking envelope. fridge behind you. Turn you your head. You're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. No clues. Sad. Not really something special, Lord. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. <laughs> Are we partners? <sighs> We're partners. Writing! You wish that was a QT? Me too. <laughs> this is so real as fuck. <laughs> wow, this is so real as fuck, dude. Where are we? Maybe you better stay in the car. Partners, what is this music? You go, I go. What are we doing? Come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big witch tycoon from Kramer. This music is so loud. You think maybe he's the origami killer? But now I just have a few questions that need answers. Oh, I remember this. I'm going to save because I think there's like a lot of, uh, there's like some, some fail states in here. I'm pretty, I, I think I remember this being a chase that I, that I failed as a kid when I played this game and it actually had like an effect on my game. So. I'm going to save this. So I'm pretty sure when I played this as a kid, uh, I got, I think I got Scott Shelby killed. I don't remember. Someone died. Uh, so let me save this grocery store saves, put that in there. And then I'll just move these here. Uh, oh, no, put that here. Okay, we're good. So now, whatever happens, we always have a backup. Remember this part being very uncomfortable? I don't really remember what happens in, in here. Nice cars. Well, all. Security guard earned his payoff. Seems Weird sexual really stuff. That's not. Tonight. That's not out of the question for this game. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't do partners too well. All that just to get my hands on that stupid envelope. Security all over the place. I would say Gordy's just a little bit paranoid. Mm. 
Watch out! <laughs> I this is a, heavy rain has a lot of shit in it. Um, as long as it's as, as it's not focusing on anything too fucked up, I think we're okay for TOS. But you're gonna what? probably gonna see Lord. some uh, some shit. What's this? <laughs> ah! Yo, Scott Shelby and his entourage. Scott Shelby's so cool. Look at him. Look at this cool party scene. Look at him, arms crossed. Scott Shelby's the king. Why is this? Why could you do this? What is this? Why did they just let you sit here and soak in the atmosphere? It's such a strange thing to let you do. Whoa, what the fuck, dude? I'm getting out of here. You got some magic shit going on. Well, I'm here. Might as well have a drink. Hmm. Not gonna be easy to find Gordy behind that big wall of paid gorillas. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. Hi, I'm Scott. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny interaction that you could have. Excuse me. I'm looking for Gordy. I saw him going upstairs a while ago. I'd be surprised if he comes down again this evening. Look at this shot. This is so awkward. Be aggressive. Look, Cinder fella, the clock's just turned 12, and I don't want to have to turn you into a pumpkin. What? What kind of threat is that? Real smart, fella. I'm gonna then turn you, you into a pumpkin. Your ass. What? <laughs> if I want to see Gordy Kramer, I'm gonna have to go. Look, Cinder fella, the clock's about striking 12, and I'm gonna turn you into a pumpkin. <laughs> How does that? What kind of? A, what does that mean? <laughs> hey. Whoa. You see that guy over there? Do you know what he said about you? What he say? Look faster! Ah, sort him out! You motherfucker! What is that? Oh, I see. Who are you talking about, my brother? You great monkey in a cheap suit? You're thinking, oh, you big man. I'm a big man. I didn't even know that would be the point. Hey, 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 What is this? This is such awkward audio mixing. This party looks like it sucks. I hate the vibe in here so bad.
Oh my god. Look at the two people dancing at the top of the frame. What is that? <laughs> to this music? Oh yeah, let's dance to the Sam and Max soundtrack. This is what it sounds like. I like that guy. He's... <laughs> what David David Cage thinks parties are. <laughs> this fucking music. Oh my god. Oh, please get me out of here. Never mind, the music is the same volume outside. What was the point of me going outside? I guess to look into that office? Ooh, music ended as soon as I walk in. Oh, I remember this scene. I remember this scene. I remember this Mr. scene. Kramer. Shh, this is the best part. I remember this scene now. SpongeBob <laughs> music. My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The literal. It's a literal cartoon. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I love the kissing sounds even when they're not kissing. What is this? What is this? <laughs> I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it. You hear me? Get the hell out of here. What do you teeth want? bad. Anyone who shows teeth in this game, it's a bad vibe. A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear God, your version. Of why is facial... It's so fucked up. Why does he do that? The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. Oh my god. When he arrived, I explained the misunderstanding and I was released. Why End is it story. why does it feel like he's talking to my ears? I hate this audio mixing. About, right? You don't think I'm gonna fall for that shit, do you, Kramer? I know it's not the first time you tried to lure a kid into your car. I also know you were more than a suspect for the police. Now, if I were you, I'd think of something more credible. Otherwise, also I'm turn Chicken sure Little off. You have some serious problems. Please get the dog ending. Very well. I'm the Origami Killer. Origami. Literally, nobody can say Origami right. My car. <laughs> I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an <laughs> orchid on their chest. It's a fucking joke. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Get rid of this clown! What is this voice acting? What is that? Is that a completely different person? <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna kick his ass!
Let's go. Damn, Shelby. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Turn the cartoon off, you Jesus Christ. Father is. He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. I'ma pull that finger. Why am I leaving? What? Scott Shelby's fight sequences are always so weird. There's a fight and then he always just leaves. That cartoon is pretty funny though for what it's worth. I do love Chicken Run. I don't think that was a legit confession. I think he was just lying. Oh, here we go. Back to, back to our boy Ethan. Oh yeah, this is so we're in, we're in for some saw shit. Was that dude actually the killer? I don't know. No spoilers in chat. If you spoil, you're getting you're getting sniped. I remember the twist, so you can't spoil it for me. I I, I played this game when I was a kid. I remember I know the ending, but um, I don't want to spoil it for people in chat. Whoa. It might be a trap. I'd better be <laughs> now where am I supposed to go? There must be a clue or something. The origami figure was in the form of a butterfly. So am I, I should get that MIDI butterfly? loaded up. This was released in twenty ten, yeah, it's an old ass game. This is an OG PS3 game. The game is really loud. I can't even hear. I can't even hear Hello's Up. I'm going to turn the game down. Maybe just the effects. We'll need super loud effects. There you go. That's better. Are we playing Italian again? Maybe, maybe at some point. What the hell am I supposed to do here? This is the old Pico power station. I thought it was abandoned. Butterfly. Origami was a, the origami. I can't believe you said origami. They, uh, that must have been a joke. They must have been like, we have to make sure every character says origami wrong. This is the butterfly trial. So I'm pretty sure for the rest of the game, Ethan is essentially going through trials. So, trial, the origami killer, uh oh. Round. Oh. 
<laughs> it looks like he has no idea where he is. Electrical condensers. Going by the sound of them, they're still active. I got my frisbee stuck up there. I'm going to climb. How am I supposed to get it back? Round. How far into the game is this? I'd say we're probably over... We're definitely over halfway. I'd say we're what? Like 60... 70% into the game at this point? Pretty safely. Forty, really? Maybe I'm misjudging how many trials Ethan has to go through. I remember just I remember when I when I played this as a kid. I remember once I got to the trials, I was like, I beat the game pretty quickly after that. But maybe it's just because I rushed through the end. No spoilers, though. Again, that's you will get timed out for the rest of the stream. Oh, I remember this. Here we go, baby. You're going to want to get your, your glass balls ready for this. through it slowly so I don't tear up my arms. The match point indicates where the fresh air comes from. All I have to do is follow the wind. Ethan it's pretty fucking smart for realize I would not have realized that. Wait, wrong way. But the air was coming from this way, right? Oh my Call of Duty blood splatter is showing up. gonna die in here if I don't find a way out soon. <laughs> Why does he sound like Jerva? Fuck, I keep turning around by accident. I'm so sorry. Why does it keep making me turn around?
the pressure is is, is in the left, right? That's. Yeah, the air is pulling the flame, that's what I thought. Left, please! <laughs> Left, please! I remember it's getting blurry. Easy does it. I remember as a kid to move slowly. When I when I got to this point and they reveal that there's uh there's glass, I was like as a kid I was like, oh fuck. Or being like, oh fuck. It's a pretty cool reveal. Well, admittedly it's a pretty cool reveal. I did not expect this game to go in that direction. I was just being like, damn, and I hadn't really seen the Saw movies at that point. There we go. Push through it, bro. This is such an awkward guy. <laughs> to jump or not to jump? Fuck that. Jump where? I guess that's like a slide? What is that? Whatever, I don't really have a choice. There's no other way out. Keep it together, Ethan. Come on. Stupid fucking pipe. And Sean is gonna die because of me. <laughs> okay. I will not give up. I'm in this all the way to the bitter end if it saves my son. <laughs> Don't even know where it leads. Could lead to hell for all I know. Right. <laughs> I guess I don't really have any choice. <laughs> it could go to hell, but fuck it. I'll have a choice. It means to save my son. This is how it felt to go to the water park in Ontario Place. What do I have to do now? We've done it. Oh. <laughs> that scene with no music is fucking hilarious. Oh, oh look at his face! He's 
是说。<laughs> He's just like, oh, you know, fuck it. I'm just gonna lay here. I don't give a shit anymore. Fuck it. Wow. Game over. Okay. Do not touch. Every time it cuts back, it's just funny. It's so awkward. All right, I'm going to do something here. Let's see. Oh my god, the tube is massive! That's true! Tube is huge now! Yeah, either that, yeah, maybe he shrank. Coward! What?! Why would I leave? It's a video game. Oops. Oh fuck, I thought that was stay. Oh no. Oopsie. I pressed, I thought B was stay and A would have been go. Oh fuck. It's over for me. Wow. I just got the achievement coward. Good thing I, I, I saved my game. So I'm going to reload that. Um, that was very... Uh, that was very... Underwhelming. just goes, it's over for me. I don't have money now. Howard. I love that he would go through all of that, the glass tunnel, and just be like, fuck it. That's just like such a fake dilemma because you don't. Like, I'm not going through the glass tunnel. I could be empathetic, but like, I'm not gonna simulate physical sensation. This doesn't, this doesn't work very well. Oh god, my blood vessels. Quickly. I'm gonna have 
find another way out. I don't feel too good. I can't take much more. A field of electric condensers. It looks like the lab. The spaces are different. Some can... A butterfly. There's a butterfly over... <laughs> a field of electric condensers. I've got to go through them to reach that... I better leave while I'm still alive. I'm not gonna save Sean. <laughs> He's being honest. This is fucking insane. I'm not gonna save Sean. Yo, no, no, do watch out, watch out! Dude, don't fuck this up or you're gonna you're gonna die. Look at the electricity, dude. Be careful. Oh shit. It's uh. quickly, quickly. Either no! Okay, but what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It's it's over for me. What the fuck? How? So you don't even die. You don't even die. He just, he gets shocked so many times, he gets scared, and he teleports to the end. I'm gonna fucking lose it. That's so fucking stupid. Oh my god. Holy shit. Ah, so... So really... As a kid, I remember being terrified. I'm like, oh man, if you die here, you must die. Really, I think there's it's really, really heavily limited when you could actually die. Because if Ethan is, doesn't die then, then when? <sighs> Alright, so we know the fail state here. There's no point in fucking this one up. Watch me fuck this up by actually trying. Oh, this is actually kind of hard. What? Oh, okay, dude. Fucking whatever. What?
BLT baby. Why is it? I'm like, I don't have a choice. How do I go to the other? The left feels like the safer option. Yo, I love his leg just like clipping with electricity. What? <clears throat> oh shit, this is actually hard. Where do I go? I'm guessing going to the, on the ones with electricity is not gonna work, right? Yeah, I'm not going through there. Uh. Where do I go? Oh my god, this camera. Holy fuck, this camera. Stop. I'm so lost. Oh, I think I, I made a mistake. I need to go back, Jesus Christ. There we go. Now I'm close to the end. I no, that's not the one I wanted to go through. Fuck. I have to go back. There we go. There's a battery over there or something. Help. Oop, a little zap. Oopsie.
We gotta find the org army killer. Look. We're here. What? Barely any strength left. There's no way I can take another electric shock. <laughs> what was the point of gaming control there if all I can do is move an inch? <laughs> Alright, vid time. His face is one of, of no emotion. Rhett. Like that video sucked. I can't believe I did all that for a shitty video. I'm gonna go watch Linus Tech Tips. I got both the coward and the electrified achievement. One. Oh, is she gonna find, uh, is she gonna find Ethan all electrified? Oh, this is the sex scene. I remember this now. I don't remember this happening right after this. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a sex scene in this game. I don't know about TOS. I, I, I think you see butt. I don't think you see nip. You probably see a bit of nip. I think that's about it. Oh my god, is that a dead body? This isn't the sex scene. I just know that at one point they definitely fuck. I gotta call a doctor. I can't just leave him like this. He's unconscious. He's bleeding. Shit, what could have happened to him? I'll get him to bed. <laughs> I'll get him to bed. I'll get him to bed. Why did that mean to bed? I'll get him to bed. 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 Oh my god. What happened to him? I'll get him to bed. Calm down, girl. There must be something I can do to help him. I'll get him to bed. 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 Why is it shot like an action scene? I feel like something's gonna happen. God, you're you're like the rain out there. It's so heavy. Where are you, rain? <laughs> oh, I'm absolutely not helping this dude. It's <laughs> making things worse.
I told you there was a sex scene. Nice shoes, Ethan. Ethan. Ethan, can you hear me? Why are they why are they letting me walk around? What oh origami figures. <laughs> what is he doing with them? <laughs> this fucking game. <laughs> origami origami. Which body part should I attack? Look really bad. I need to disinfect your wounds. You've got a hell of a fever. Bro, you just you're doing Those bad. Burn marks on your chest? Wow, bro, you're fucked up. I'm just judging him. <laughs> We're not gonna do anything. We're like, bro, you're bleeding. Wow, you have a fever. Oh, you gotta disinfect your wounds, dude. All right, peace. And give you rug burn. Wake up, wake up. We have to go. Time to go to Disneyland. Close off to <laughs> disinfect. <laughs> I'm going to have to get your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. Look at his mouth. Look at his mouth. He, wa he wants to go out, but he can't. <laughs> Literally, I think we're just hurting him more at this point. Oh, you look fine. You look fine. Oh. Yo, punch him. Do it. You know you want to do it. Those are serious burns. What are you doing? That's, that's stop touching it. 
You should have to give a fuck. I've never seen anything as bad as this before. How did he get this way? He's burning up. He's running a fever. He needs first aid. There should be all I need in the medicine cabinet. Okay. The first thing is to keep calm. I'm gonna give him first aid. Just give him everything, dude. Yeah, everything. Go. Just throw it at him. I'm no doctor, but I'll do what I can. I'm no doctor. Look, Ethan, I'm sorry, but you've come down with... Forgetting that your son hates strawberry flavors. I'm gonna give you the the pill that makes you remember your son's eating preferences. Look at this. This is the pill of, of remembering that he hates strawberry. Okay. Uh. This is the pill of remembering to not stare off into the distance when you enter a mall or any sort of situation where your child is near your feet. Um, this is the ointment of, uh... Drawing more than one line at your job. Sorry. Sorry. I'll take it easy. God. Sorry. I'll take it easy. God. Sorry. I'm stupid. I'm using anti-burn ointments on your cuts. <laughs> God. Sorry. I'll take it easy. That should ease the pain. What was that ointment? I'll never know. I hate the word ointment. It sounds gross. Crap. That's disinfectant. Not terribly good for burns. <laughs> Yo! Leaves! Oh my I'm not sure I'm helping him. I better stop. <laughs> I can't believe I failed that too many times. It's so awkward. Why were there like three different scenes for Oh, I guess she's just waiting. Wait, does that do we not do the does that ruin the chances of the sex scene? I want to do that in the in like the half motion. I just want to make sure that we get to that. Oh my god, it does. How do you feel? Does it actually? I've does it there. actually? I'm scared. I closed it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna save just in case. I'm gonna store my save just in case. So I don't know what the last save I did was, but who knows? Put that there. I'm gonna save there. All right. The only thing that affects it is later on. 
Good. I need a heads up. Because I'm pretty sure as a kid I didn't have the foresight to actually do the do the sex scene in a not serious way. I was treating this game like a movie. So I really want to revisit that and just fuck the scene up entirely. I wonder what happens, like, what ha can you fail? How do you feel? I've been better. Was I out for long? About three hours. Why the guardian angel act? You don't even know me. Memory. What is that? When I was a child, I was always the one who used to fix my brothers up when they'd been fighting with the other kids on the block. Memory. I, uh, I suppose I like to play the guardian angel. <sighs> I would always try and heal their wounds and fuck it up and give up. Are your brothers you okay? You were here because you're an insomniac. I um, I prefer not to talk about it if if you don't mind. Problems? You um, you got some kind of a problem? <laughs> Bigger than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> what a fucking line. You mixed up with the Mafia, owe someone money, something like that. Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Maybe I could help you. No I... one can help me. No one can help me. You've already done a lot, Madison. Right. I'm gonna go. Oh, I hope I didn't fuck things up. Take care. I don't want that girl to get involved. No one involved. Involved. My son. I don't want that girl to get involved. Involved. I need to get going. I've already lost too much time. Must must stay on my feet. I'm coming, Sean. I'll find you wherever you are. Crap! I've really no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> What? I'll end up killing him. What? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, so we're psychic linked now. We are linked forever. I could hear you. You could hear me. I could hear basically saying, oh fuck, I almost killed him by trying to help him. God, I'm so fucked up. Fuck. Shocked that he can't pee. This is the first time we encounter a toilet as Ethan that we can't pee in, so take note. Oh! 
<laughs> the sound. Oh, I'm going to check the mini fridge, see what's in here. Oh, that's the saddest thing of all. This game's so sad. Fuck. Let you do this. <laughs> Why? What is the point? God, fuck. I'm sitting in my sad fucking chair. God damn it. Oh. Yeah, this is sad lo-fi, uh, sad lo-fi bits, bits, <laughs> sad lo-fi beats to sit in the rain to. Gotta close the door for safety. Ooh, a funny little standing guy. Are you prepared to make a sacrifice for your son? 977 9711 Marble Street, baby. We're going to Marble Street. Let's go. Love Marble Street. Oh god, the frame rate. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. Why we show her a statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Ash? Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sean Moss's mother is here. She'd like to speak with you. What if we broke the game and now she, every loading screen is just her? And also it all the... Few months back. We could hear her just the night. talking, saying, Oh god, I'm not helping him. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um... He didn't make any sense. There was something. Great, Great animation. Something in his eyes. <coughs> As if it wasn't really him. Oh yeah, there's this whole side plot of Ethan being crazy and no like actually being the killer. But the next just day, never explored. there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. Find my son. I'm begging you. He looks so confused. None of them really look like they know what's happening. <laughs> he was like, wait, what did what did she say? I wasn't listening. Fuck. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Oh, the therapist. I'm sorry, that's impossible. The animate the Ezio's therapist. I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. I know you don't want to protect the murderer. If you know anything, you must tell us, Doctor. I'm sorry. I can't help you. 
And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate. For your own sake. Doctor, a child's life's at stake. You may know something that could help us save him. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice. What? Doc. You just ignore what I said. You take it. Sean Mars's life may depend on what you know. Tell us what you know, Doctor. I am going to call yeah. the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're gonna be a good boy and tell me what I want to know or I am really gonna lose my temper. It's your duty to inform the police Let if you go. suspect one of your patients, you, Doctor. You have no right! <laughs> what? Come on, Doc. There's an easy way. I'm about to lose my marbles. The doctor says, Oh my god, I forgot my marbles at Marble Street. He's right. Legally, you gotta tell us what you know. You have no right to hit him. I'm saving a kid's life for Christ's sake. If you don't like it, leave. If you don't let go of this man immediately, I'll report you and you'll the be The fucking music case. resetting is breaking the scene apart. What the hell's the matter with you, Norman? What, you getting cold feet? You don't want to save Sean Mars anymore? I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me all rights. So you're gonna stop this shit right now! Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. Feels responsible. Those are gonna be all right. Sort of morbid neurosis. Oh, they're both smiling. They're happy. Drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. It must have fallen out of his pocket. <gasps> oh my God, Ethan Mars is the Argarmy killer. Those two, yeah, those two, those two scenes, yeah. Why did it show Madison? Madison was not involved at all. Man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass, so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. <laughs> He's the origami killer. It's such a terrible red herring because they really beat you over the head with it. The moment something happens, they're like, it's Ethan. He's crazy. It's Ethan. He went crazy and now he's the origami killer. Like, if that's actually what it was, this would be the worst, like, the worst story ever. Big stick, little ball. Never could see the point of this game. The most exclusive golf club in town. Strange place for an appointment. I wonder what we're going to talk about. I kept Lauren in the dark on this one. I'll pick her up from her place later on. Well, well, an old friend. <laughs> Love those really awkward. You're exiting the area. Nice shot. Sense. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would I'm going to turn you into a pumpkin. Oh, no, thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. It's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also. Martin Madrazo. <laughs> Would you care to hit a few? This balls? guy is a GTA ass character. 
Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club. I'm gonna do this, I have to go pick up all the balls. The balls are in that basket. Damn, it's forcing me to do this. This, you know, it makes me cry. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. Ah, oh, they don't have a funny fail state for this. That looked weak. Well, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions. About oh, this my is son. the dad of the of the the kid, the little ch right. little chicken. I want to know little. if Morty is linked to the origami killer case in any way. What an awkward silence. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. I'm an influential man, Mr. Shelby, and I pay very well for loyalty. Are you trying to buy me? The scene is Let's just so say boring. I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. What's the point of the scene? How much do you want to leave my son alone? I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Is he gonna leave? Don't go near my son, Mr. Shelby. If what was the point of this interaction? <clears throat> Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. Bye. So they're trying to set up that this guy's son is the origami killer. Or Ethan is the origami killer. But like, press the indicated button repeatedly until it disappears. Just remember that.
Yeah, there are three killers. Origami, Origami, and Origami. They're, they're a trio. <clears throat> so what's this one? Is this another trial? I think I remember what this one is. This is another saw moment. Porcelain lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat-up stuff. Break it. Fuck that thing. Sucks. There's been a fire in here. Everything is all burned up. Fuck that thing. Where are you, Sean? The pain's coming back. Drugs are beginning to wear off. Still feeling weak. I can hardly stand. 9711 Marble Street. It's the right place, but what am I supposed to do in this dump? Thank you, Air Fryer. Open the lizards. Sean might be in one. Sean is a key. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember this one. This also, as a kid, I was like, whoa, this is hardcore. This game is extreme. GPS on the table. <laughs> A GPS on the table. 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 I'm so tempted to fucking walk out as soon as he says that. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna st I'm gonna store this save. Cut off a finger? No way.
That was me emulating a cl closed door sound. I'm saving right now. Hold on a second. The pain's gonna be intense. Gotta find some way to reduce it. Well, I don't think I can leave this one, actually. Can I give up? I can. I can't cut off my own finger. I, I just can't do it. I want to save Sean. I'd do anything. Anything but that. This is fucking nuts. I can't do it. I want to save Sean, but I refuse to do this. Unlocked a new bonus. All the wow, giving up on the trials is really anticlimactic. <clears throat> I remember that this when it started becoming like the saw shit. I remember even as a kid, I was like. Look, there's like a massive disconnect between how much empathy I could like feel with these characters and the dilemma that they're giving me. Like, I can feel empathy for the characters. I don't really give a shit if he cuts his finger off. It's a video game character. I remember thinking that even when I was like 10 years old or 15 years old. Pretty wild that a 15 year old was realizing that, but they didn't really think that through when they were making the game. A GPS on the table. 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 after ordering McDonald's. Are you prepared to suffer? To this was me at 3 a.m. after I came back from a night out and I put AVGN at full blast in my fucking apartment while watching, uh, while camera. eating Burger King. If you succeed, you will get your reward. Tapping the screen. I have to go through with it. I have no choice, for Sean's sake. I care more about the Ethan that says that the GPS on that table 50 times than the one that says it only once. Oops, I left again. My bad. Let me restart the game. I keep on thinking B is going to make me just back out of the... I guess it does, technically, if you want to think about it that way. I keep on thinking it's going to make me back out of the menu, but that's actually the choice. <clears throat> Why is it even a choice in theory? I mean, I guess if you're like... Some people are really, really sensitive to, vi like, I mean, video games and even, like, movies and shit. I'm, I'm sure there are some people out there who wouldn't even entertain the idea of doing it. They're like, this is too much for me. I think I've just played too many video games where the choice is, like... The separation between reality and video game is, like, ingrained in my, in my brain now. But I know people that will, like not even look at a second of a horror movie it will set them off for the rest of the night and it could be like a, like freddy versus jason and it would still like ruin their night i'm guessing it's a similar type of thing it's 
Like, I once I once went to see a movie with a friend, and it was Halloween Resurrection. And she was like, oh, I'm going to be really, like, it's going to really mess me up, but I'll go watch it anyways. And I was like, okay. And then for half of the movie, she was screaming into her sweater. Anytime something happened, she would go, no, don't do it, screaming into her sweater. So ever since I saw that, I'm like, okay, that's probably someone who would not want to do this. Fuck this wall. Let me wash my finger before I cut it. And my face. Why would you... I would not wash my face with this water. <laughs> cut off a finger? No way. <laughs> I fucking love that line. That's such a good line. No way. Gotta find a sharp object, something that'll make a clean cut. I don't want to have to start hacking away at it. Yeah, a saw should work. You have four minutes and thirty seconds left. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. What? Is there a pipe? Can I hit it off? Oh shit, he saw the camera. He knows we're streaming. Fuck. Gotta disinfect the wound if I want to have a chance of surviving. This could all go horribly wrong. I'm not going to save my son by dying here. I might just be able to get through this if I make the right choices. There's got to be a way to do this. I have to go through with it. I have no choice, for Sean's sake. Four minutes left. Five minutes. I've got five minutes to cut off my finger. Got to decide <laughs> now. It says that's a matter of fact, Lee. Oh my god, scissors? I can't cut off my own finger. I, I just can't do it. I want to save Sean. I'd do anything. Anything but that. The pain's going to be intense. Gotta find some way to reduce it. This is fucking nuts! I can't do it! I want to save Sean, but I refuse to do this! Let me just prepare the dinner table. We're all ready. Time to eat. Alright, what's up? What's up, YouTube? My name is Ethan Mars, and this is uh. You have three minutes and oh 30 fuck! Seconds Let me restart the intro. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome, Mars. Everyone in the Mars pack, thank you for joining. Um, I'm gonna cough my own fingers with some scissors. Here we go. Hey, what's up, everyone on Twitch? Welcome to the uh, Just Injuries uh, ch category. I am your I am your streamer, Ethan Mars, and check this out. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of a cough. All right, everyone, here we go. If you like what you're watching, hit subscribe. Because I'm not doing it again. Let's go, Beast Nation.
Yo, thank you, Mr. Mental Gen, for the prime sub. The camera absolutely didn't get that. I did what I had to, Sean. Under the desk. <laughs> Pain, my finger, my f disinfect. <laughs> oh, he's okay. Why did it just cut out like that? GPS on the table. A 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 GPS on the table. I thought just he cut his finger off really clean with those scissors. I thought that would be like that wouldn't work. Why did that work so easily? It kind of makes me want to figure... Should I redo it with the pipe? I kind of want to see what would happen. How do you do that with the pipe? He's going to eat it. Okay, I'm going to redo it. I'm going to redo it and see what the pipe does. Also, we get to hear that the beautiful sounds again. Delicioso. Yeah, he ate the switch cartridge. You're not supposed to do that. That's why they make it taste like shit. A GPS on the table. 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 Quick play, AVGN the Karate Kid. You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. If you succeed, you will get your reward. This is why this playthrough is probably going to take like four streams. Alright, we know what we want to do. Just easy, just a pipe. That's all we need. Oh, I see. He'd probably... Oh my god, he's, he would burn it off? I, that's why he was looking at the stove. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna... Beat it. <laughs> he's like, wait a minute. This doesn't work. <laughs> uh, um, um, oh, uh, fuck. Oh, shit. Why doesn't it work?
Cut off a finger? No way! <laughs> he fucking you leaves right there! <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way. What's this? Did we get this last time? What is this? Oh my god, a piece of glass? That must be the worst way to do it. Five minutes. I've got five minutes to cut off my finger. Gotta decide now. What's this? Oh my god! <laughs> I don't remember any of these options when I played through it. I have to go through with it. I have no choice, for Sean's sake. Nah, I don't need that. I'm good. Fuck it, let's do it. What's up, YouTube? All right. My name's Ethan Mars. <laughs> All right. And this is Saw. This is the Saw skit. do this I'm gonna unlock a bonus if I do this <laughs> what? he just got pulled out of his fucking chair <laughs> No, I'm not going to finish off. I'm not going to do it. We're just going to sit here. Ethan. Let's just leave. I don't think I have a choice here. I did what I under the desk. <laughs> I did what I, uh, did what I... <laughs> the pain! God, my finger! Uh, my finger! <sighs> I did what I have to do for sure. Mmm. He's chewing on it, look! He's really, he's, he's, he's eating well. He's eating well. Can I get her back for my anniversary? Erica, absolutely! You know what? You could have two. Check this out.
Too far. Great map. Damn, I went through all that for the same video. That's him realizing, like, oh fuck, I think I've seen this one before. I wonder if you can, if you can modify this game, if there's a mod for this game that replaces those videos with any video you want. That would be amazing. That must be somewhere in the game files. Just replace it with, I am a hard man. I eat jalapeno, I eat jalapeno, jalapeno, with risotto sauce. Rendered a texture, yeah, rendered a texture would be like, we would basically be screwed. It would be great if it was just a video though, that would be sick. Probably not. If it's a PS3 game, it's probably some complicated shit. That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal. Why does it keep showing me Madison when we're playing as Norman? Foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. Oh, that's why. Beat the Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. What the fuck is that girl doing there? If Marsh comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? We wanna get her out? No, stand down. Oh, they're gonna catch Ethan. Do they have any proof aside from Ethan having an origami figure? I think the rest is just like... The wife being like, he was weird. At one point. The police. They staked out the building where Ethan is. What? What was that shot? I've got to warn Ethan. The cops don't know me. I could just walk into the building without being noticed. Huh? Oh, I thought that was their car. I'm like, where the fuck did they go? Oh. This game sucks. Let's play something else. No. And you don't say shit like that. Where am I supposed to be going? Oh, is this oh, this is the entrance? She's going inside. I mean, this might become a heavy rain channel, actually. So. Well, we don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. <laughs> We've got to find another way out. <laughs> Shit. What's he up to in there? No point. Wait for a go on my <laughs> word. I've got to search the hall. There's got to be another exit. Come on. Think of something. Think of something fast. A solution. There's got to be a solution. We've got to get out of here fast. The cops are going to break in any second. He looks bad. What happened? Jesus! 
Oh. One. Shit. Oh, Edith just popped out of nowhere. The window's too high. I'll never manage to pull myself up. The crate. I'd be able to pull him up if I could just get to the window. Find some loot crate. The crate. I'd be able to pull him up if I could just get to the window. A physics puzzle, but it's gun. not. Stay here, Jade. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door hold your position. I do like the it's idea of all of these characters as, like assembling in a scene. That is fun after spending time individually. Having them all mesh together is still pretty fun. Like all my favorite characters joining forces. All my favorite cartoon characters. Who went Shit. in? Everybody downstairs. They're in the alley. Follow them. The subway. Oh, woman. What the hell am I doing? Helping those are. Have escaped. I must be completely out of Nobody my mind. told me about those. This game, it's like, what? Even cage me like. <laughs> You look like anything other than Ethan. Everyone in this in this in this universe, everyone reacts to like, oh god, look at that. I love my all white public spaces. <laughs> look at this shit. Look at that. Ethan, Ethan, what's the matter? We gotta keep going. Ethan, Ethan, they're coming. I love that they're not even headed anywhere. They're all going in a circle. They're just walking in a circle. I would be scared of that too. If I went into the subway and everyone was just doing slaps in a fucking space, I would be terrified. Oh, we have to buy a ticket. Shit. Oh, you got a pass. Look at that. Here you go, Ethan. Go there. You'll be safe. save the game you know I, you know you know i bet it's not even gonna, gonna let ethan die there's no way it's gonna let ethan die The train looks really small. It looks like a go-kart. <laughs> what? Don't move or I'll blow your fucking brains out. Whoa, now he's totally f- <laughs> Huh? 
<laughs> what is that pose? <laughs> okay, that was boring. I'm gonna. Uh, good thing I had saved. I'm gonna restart that encounter. Yeah, he was just waving. He was like, hi. Fair the morrow to you, lads. Yeah, this game, I'm like, I am surprised at how many cop outs this game takes. Like, I would, I guess, because all the marketing and all, like, the reputation this game had was like, oh my god, the main characters can die. You are, like, you will be, you main characters could die. Watch out. I think playing this as a kid, I was so scared that that would happen that I just assumed every near death encounter was, like, a possibility. But it looks like it isn't. I guess it kind of makes sense, because, like, if he died now, you'd literally lose out on, like, half of the game. I'm assuming it's more towards the end that the choices actually end up mattering. Go! Whoa, that those people are creepy, dude. What is with the people at the subway? Terrifying. Oh my god, get away from me. That's some nightmare shit. What the fuck? That's actually scary. I did not expect that to happen. Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer, Ethan <laughs> Mars. <laughs> Be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now. Oh, I think this is this. Is this the sex scene? Able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. He's so upset. I brought some food. I didn't know what you like, so I brought some of everything. I, I oh, I'd okay. like food. Oh. Why are you helping me, Madison? You know nothing about me. You could have been killed. I don't know. I guess it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. You needed help. I helped you. You were all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop and so am I. Hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Jesus. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? God, I'm too sexy to be an origami killer. I have to admit it. I... I sometimes have these blackouts. God, I'm so sad. I'm no sad. Life. As if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards is the origami in my head. Bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I shot myself three times during the butterfly trial. I have to, I have to tell you, I have not changed. I've not changed my clothes since then. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them why. Because we don't talk to the police. Who drowned his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You 
can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Give up. <laughs> Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. He's kind of like, bro, get over it. it. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice. Please, Madison, leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. Oh, Lord, the mouth was rough there. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. I love... <laughs> what about the sex? <laughs> I think I might have locked myself out of the sex scene. Or is it just not happening now? I think when I fucked up, like, fixing his wounds, I might have... I haven't yet. Okay. I think it says a lot that almost every one of their interactions, I'm like, I feel like it's gonna happen. Oh my god, Ethan. Your feet don't even touch the ground when you sit on the bed. And you're out here doing trials? What? This is a really big bed, or did he shrink? I just... <laughs> something about the scale in this room feels way off. He kind of looks like a... This bed must be huge. I don't have much time. I've got to find my son before it's too late. The box. I have to open another origami figure. I'll find you, Sean. I swear I'll find you. Eat! Look, you want to drink those cool world drinks, whatever the, those say? Ooh, his head. God. I have to find out what's next in my battle pass. Are you prepared to kill someone to save your son? Brad Silver. Six, six, seven, eight, four, long way road, Lexic to kill him. Send a picture, get your reward. Easy kill. Send a picture. Yeah, send a picture of what too? Send a picture of yourself? Hey, I killed him. Also, here's a selfie. I was feeling cute today. I've got, I found this new filter that makes me look even cuter. Your vodka, sir. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Well, now he's flawless. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? 
I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Please find these glasses. I wonder if there were like replica oh, RE last thing, glasses sir. made. I would get those. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It'll yeah. Be dangerous. I know Very VR. Dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll it's kind of crazy that they. If you're not careful. It's kind of crazy that they kind of try to that frame this like he has a, sir. like he has a yeah fuck yes sir. They t <laughs> it's kind of crazy that they frame this as like an addiction thing, and you find out it, he's addicted to drugs that let him play VR. Like that's such a weird direction to take it in. Like you're playing the whole game, being like, "Oh fuck, he's an addict." Like, I have to keep that in mind. And you find out, wait, he's an addict to blue goo that lets him stay in VR longer. It's just like, whoa, kind of a bit harder to think about that now. Yeah. Let me open my oh, wow. GameCube. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. You watch it? There's a new clue. <laughs> Perhaps, sir, you should have another look at your clues. <laughs> I'm you talking to me? That's... A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park. When in the opposite direction at 1637, that could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? Sorry, I went to go refill my water. Ah, pity we can't see the driver's face. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, <laughs> exotic Engram. <laughs> car was stolen. Let's see. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Is Norman VR something that's been happening throughout the game? Yeah, pretty much. It's not often, but it happens. Jackson Neville. Jackson Neville, a.k.a. Mad Jack. Involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. Yeah, Mad Jack. Mad Jack is like... This game is French. <laughs> Mad Jack and Hassan are like... Even as a kid, I was I was like playing this game, and both times I was like, mm -hmm. "Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge." In oh, it too much VR. Very dangerous. Shit, it's it's coming. Tryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some, and the pain will go away. I should resist. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay in control and, and do something until it goes away. I 
need to get a grip. Give it some time to pass. Definitely no more drugs. I I'm not gonna make it if I start again. What's this? What am I drinking? Is this water? Oh, is this water? Oops. He said that <laughs> I'm going to wash it down the toilet. Yeah, that's right. A shower, a cold shower would cool me down. I would take some just, just, just a little, just once. It will stop the pain. I need to get the hell out of here. Maybe I can... Oh, fuck. I didn't flush. Damn it. I didn't know that was on the timer. Yeah, that's the wife timer. Shit. Well, I think I'm still on track for not having a, the bad ending for him. Oh, I remember this scene. It was crazy to let her come with me. Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? No one in the store. Might be somebody in the back room. What was that meeting with Charles Kramer at the golf club really about? Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. It's me, your son. Do you remember me? Scott! Oh, yes, of course. Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Oh, at my age, time means nothing anymore. I, I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. Well, how about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this, this calls for a celebration. I've just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I, I saw a, a bottle of scotch One day he will poop his somewhere. pants. One day we will all poop our pants if we live to see that age. That is something that will happen in my lifetime. Nothing much changed here. Just the dust and the clock old sticking man a all favor with you, Scott. Tell him to call back this day. It's today. <laughs> that sure day is no today. Problem. We are on a poo poo timer. Nice to see Manfred again. Just like old times. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. It's true. We have already Manfred already pooped our pants anyways. The timer went off pretty early. Actually, no, never mind. I was perfect as a baby. I never shat my diaper. I didn't even need diapers. What 
am I supposed to be doing? Well, to old friends. Here's bra. Let's get wasted. You want to buy it? <laughs> it's a Stradelli. Crafted in Venice in the 18th century. Mm. It's you held it, so give me a hundred bucks. Tell me, Scott. What brings you back after all these years? I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Oh. Let's have a look. A bit of an itch. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. I think this old man is the best voice actor in the game. Thanks. Well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. The Royal Five. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. <laughs> Even in bad moods, it seems like old people can still act. And the power of old people. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, at least no, the ones she... who pay. <laughs> <clears throat> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Well, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes and I'll be right back with the list. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. I'm not even looking for the killer anymore. This is, we're shopping right now. What, <laughs> what were those shots? Those are really weird. <laughs> <laughs> I need a compilation of every time a character smiles inappropriately in this game. Lauren thinks she's about to find the killer. I'm afraid she's going to be disappointed. But the killer's name might be in Manfred's papers. Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is lodged, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. Oh, you know shit! Are, sir. Sir? Hello? Scott? <gasps> oh my god. What? I literally I'm walked by you. I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be a scapegoat. We gotta get the hell out of here. What the what fuck? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do?
Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. You better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. What are you doing, Lauren? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. We gotta get out of here fast. Quick. Gotta find everything Lauren and I touched since we came in here. Where did we leave Prince? Gotta remember. Fast. I love phone. I feel like he touched it with his fingers right there. Let's wipe down Manfred. How'd this guy even die? I think he just he got a little tumble. Knowing the twist, this scene is fucking ridiculous. Like, I don't remember how I felt when I first played this game, but this scene makes no fucking sense at all. The old man was the killer. The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. No, I have to touch this thing. I'm fucking GTA. The glasses. The telephone. What else? The glasses? Oh. The police will be here any second. Got it. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? Mm, let me smell the thing. Yes. I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. Oops, I forgot the door. My bad. Oh, whoops. Whoopsie. Oh, this is the door. So, you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop. Correct? Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with his murder. We were only there by coincidence. We had nothing to do with it. Come on. We had nothing to do with the murder. I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next Why are we talking about this? Okay. had nothing to do with his murder. Look at his little smile. Well, well, Scott Shelby. You in trouble again? Oh my god, characters interacting. Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat it. I'll take care of it. For old times sake. Oh my god, the NPCs. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. Are you on to anything at the moment? Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage, you'd tell me about it, wouldn't you, Scott? Mmm, nope. Sure. Where are we going? I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We're partners, remember? We had a deal. Oh. Not a game. This isn't a game, Lauren. 
Manfred was murdered because he knew the identity of the killer. He was ten feet away, for Christ's sake. I gotta get away from his face. I can't take a chance on the killer getting that close to you again. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I've got to find my son's killer. You're not gonna stop me. Why the voice is so quiet right now? Bold, cruel, or annoyed. I guess... Your son is dead, Lauren! <laughs> oh my Getting god! yourself killed is not gonna bring him back to life. Stop the car. What? Stop the fucking car! That really was cruel. Oh! What? I failed literally everything and nothing happened! <laughs> You're not gonna help me find this bastard and kill my Johnny. I'll do it on my own! <laughs> That's fucking hilarious! Literally no consequence to failing every single QTE. Oh my god, his mouth! Look at his mouth! This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. I can't just leave her like that. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her. Why is she standing right in front of the car? It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. Such an idiot. I better catch up with her. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. I'm just gonna take a little nap right now. Yeah, what is she doing? Miss him. Miss him so much. I'd do anything to hold him once again in my arms. Shelter, caress, sorry. I'm sorry. Oops. I don't know what it's going to pick. The fucking giant coat physics. <clears throat> that was an incredibly awkward ending. You missed the sex scene with the typewriter. <laughs> this is gonna be easy. Okay, I'm gonna save the game now. I feel like this might be. A I don't remember this part at all, honestly. I do not remember this part. So this will be a this will be like a new experience for me. All right, let's uh, let's uh, go see Gail Bedecker. God, Ethan's so fucked up right now. Yeah? What do you want? Oh, fuck it. What? 
I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies at my door. If you want to score, man, you gotta fucking call. Oops, I fucked up. Come on, beat it. Man, huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. I'm sure we can make a deal, huh? Gosh, I'm gonna blow your brain out, you son of a bitch! Oh shit! <laughs> oh what did he how did he... God damn punk I'm gonna blow your brains out Get out of here Go die somewhere else Wow that was it Wow, that really was it. Wow, that's so underwhelming. <laughs> All right, it's a good thing I saved. Let's actually do it this time. I'm gonna fucking kill you, shoots you three times and goes, Get out of here. Get out of here. They should, there should be an option where you just immediately just shoot him. Like comically fast. He just opens the door and he goes, Whoa. <laughs> said a thousand times that I hey take it easy man huh keep cool <laughs> what do you want dope money tell me what you need sure we can make a deal huh gosh I'm gonna blow your brain out you son of a bitch yeah, I feel like he, he, he gets shot like multiple times. It's confusing. Girls, see, these are my girls, one, see, Sarah, and a little one that's Cindy. Please, man, put that shit away. That's just the texture in a Please. video game. You're a video game character. Please, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> 
Whoops. I'm a father too. But I have no choice. I gotta watch YouTube videos to calm myself down. One picture, you're really confident in what that one picture. Imagine, imagine he took that picture in a panic and then he sends it and it turns out it's a selfie and it's not, it's the, it's the front facing camera. That would be beautiful. Fuck this god. Wow, you could have done that the whole time. Doesn't that make you sad, Ethan? All right, video time. Got the same video again. I keep getting pranked. Fuck. When will they send me a new video? I just want a new video. Oh. Song's over. <laughs> but the PC port definitely has like some audio glitches. Sometimes the music will just completely cut off. I don't remember that happening on the PS3. Feel bad yet? That might as well have been the achievement that it gave me. Feel bad yet? No, I got an achievement that says I'm a killer. Sam, it's Sam. I got your information. <clears throat> and the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. This scene, I don't remember what this scene is. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you, you can one. finesse hey, this Matt. sequence very easily. Be wow, careful. great, okay. great camera angle. I'm on it. Talk to you later. It's the DLC. Oh, I think. Yeah, I vaguely the owner remember. The Ethan cut off his finger lips here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. I think I vaguely remember there being something about DLC. I don't remember. I don't remember if I played the DLC. I think I played the game, but when it came out. So I don't know what this is. I, I remember a taxidermist. Oh, this tells me something. Hi. Oh yes, uh, he's an old I man was perv. Told that you could get betropin. Without a prescription. He's like a perv old man, like surgeon. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. You can just get what you need from this guy and leave. Oh, sure. So, you're looking for Betropin, my dear. Are oh, you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. So why are we talking to the guy who owns the apartment? Uh, I guess to find out he has a connection to Would you like a drink? I was just origami killer. Oh. No, thanks. Oh, I remember if you say I'll yes, then you pass out. Oh, I remember, today. yes, okay, anyway, okay. We should drink a toast to our first deal. I remember. I did play through this. Wait, you can't say no?
You can just start something from this room again. It, yeah. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? Oh, what should I do? Change subject. It's a tight neighborhood. People talk. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. <sighs> Shame. I was looking for something around Marble. You ever watch Stranger Things? <laughs> Trying to make small talk, I don't know. Yeah, so about that upside down. You're not drinking? Crazy, ain't it? Yeah, sure I am. What? I said no! Oh, shit. Having some trouble? Didn't your mother ever warn you about accepting gifts from strangers? I'm just going to reload the save. <laughs> Unless they force you, unless they force that, but they put yes on B. Yeah, I think they did that on purpose. <laughs> I mean, if this scene had happened and that's not something you wanted to see, then obviously you could tune out and come back. But I'm just not interested <laughs> because I know what happens anyways, and it's like kind of. There's nothing really worth exploring there. Matt, it's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies That's on That's pretty the pointless, yeah. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt, be careful. Yeah, this game is this game is full of of like shady shit and like themes that people that there's something in this game that's gonna upset the pretty much everyone. Where Ethan cut off his finger but I just year. think in general this sequence is like pointless. Oh, so there's got. no real reason to stick around. I definitely remember now, as a, I did play this as a kid. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Betropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. Yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly, Alice Batmouth. It's just, it is just like desperately trying to recreate thriller tropes, but obviously so because because that's what they're aiming for, a lot of it's going to be shit like this. Because a, a lot of that genre is just shit like this. I don't know. Um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No, thanks. See, they definitely switch it up because well, no is B, and then they put yes on B for thing. the other part. Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. Kind of sus. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? Yeah, pretty much almost all of Madison's sequences, like, are, uh, well, what did I do last time? Change subject. It's a tight neighborhood. Are, are, are kind of trash. LBs are kind of like hit or miss. Most of Madison's sequences are trash. I heard you had and, some uh, apartments for me. Ethan's rent? are pretty consistently funny bad. Thor Normans, I guess. Those are all booked up. Shame. 
there's like very there's very little comedy in the, in the mat well, apparently in the next sequence is a bit funnier you're not drinking see they fucking put no an a I am um I'm I'm not really thirsty. I'll get your prescription. Won't be a moment. Wait here. Woo! The guy gives me the creeps. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back. Don't make a sound. He's near. Could the doc be the origami killer? <laughs> there's something about the way he looks. Yeah, <laughs> there's something about the way he looks. He seemed to be upset that I wouldn't drink. I get the feeling I did the right thing. Looks like he retired a bunch of medical supplies on his way out. There's enough sleeping pills here to knock out an army. What's he up to? He went down the hall Oops. to get the drugs. I did not open that slowly. Maybe a quick look behind those doors. I'll make up some lies if he finds me. That's a good, that's confidence. I don't know if I'd be able to make up a lie on the spot Quick. in this kind of situation. Gotta find something. Blue Lagoon. Surgical gowns? I thought he stopped performing operations. Yeah, this house is creepy. Weird nostalgia for the past. That's so creepy, dude. Imagine going into someone's fucking closet and seeing just surgical gowns. Something about that's so creepy. I would, that would make me, like, question that person so hard. Uh-oh. God damn it. We're gonna have some fun together. What did I miss? I promise. Is that the end? Ah. Uh, the kitchen is a trap. Finally. You just had to leave? What what was I supposed to get? Oh, I can die here? Oh, I don't want medicine to die. I just want to be in and out. Oh, the card that I got? That's all that mattered? The blue lagoon card. Oh, I thought that was just like like a like an advertising card. I thought that was pointless. Oops, oh, I should replace the the save. Okay. Steam Cloud, fuck off. <clears throat> My, the game does not tell you that's what you need. Well, no wonder why as a kid I ended up having to play through that. Oh, fuck. How far back was that? That doesn't seem right. 1143? Oh, I guess. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, we'll have to redo the shooting the guy then. That's fine. The 
game is full of suck, which had less bad, more funny. That's the unfortunate reality of a lot of things. There's always, there's always suck and there's always funny. Yeah? What do you want? Ugh, fuck. I said a thousand times that I... No. Hey! Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. Sure we can make Shoot the guy and go. I wish I could just do it right now. God, I'm gonna blow your brain out, you son of a bitch! You think you can come my house and steal my dog? You'll be shooting up in hell, motherfucker! Will you stop fucking moving? Walter. Hold it, man. I give you whatever you want. Tapping you the gun dope? button. I got cash. I'm tapping it. You, you want some dope? Please. Please don't kill me, man. I got children. He's my girls, see? He's my girls. This one, Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please. Please don't shoot. <laughs> I'm not a... I'm a father, too. <laughs> but I have no choice. <laughs> I'm not a murder... I'm a father, too. <laughs> Killing is distasteful to me. Killing is distasteful. I'm a hard man. Yeah, the music just cuts out wrong every time. With my silly so so. Oops. An origami figure. One more trial, and I'll know where you are, Sean. Gotta get him out of there, now! <laughs> I think Ethan's one of the only people that can say origami properly. Madison says origami. That one guy that we met said origami. Mad, it's Sam. I got your information. 
And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to At least if you're gonna have if you're gonna have the one playable woman character in your story constantly be in danger. At least make it like kinda badass. So I'm pretty sure from what I remember, every single situation hey, Madison is in, she's like always fucked. Okay. I'm on it. Talk to you later. Like if you're gonna do that, at least like give her a little bit of power, like. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Don't forget to save. I don't think I'm gonna fuck this up. Now that I know where that I have to get the card. And then just bounce. Yeah, I think that's what that's what makes it like. I mean, yeah, Ethan's in the same situation, but also like Hi. Ethan is like not nearly. I was told that like, you Ethan's in large talking. amounts of dis distress, but also like without a prescription. Ethan's distress is framed very Sorry. differently than hers. Hers is just like I'm always getting Hold fucked on. over for like literally no I, reason. I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come Madison, a bazooka. No, I'm just gonna get the card and bounce. Yeah, it's it's a framing issue. Like characters like this exist in stories. Like that's just the nature, especially for thrillers and shit like that. But like at least so you're looking for betrothal. Make slightly an eff like a slight effort to sleeping? especially if it's like the one playable character to like know, frame um, things at least three, four or palate. More, not I don't want to say palatably, but like no, no, in a way that isn't as problem. like mind boringly like shitty. I was just about to have one. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. Because, like, thrillers are very rarely tasteful to begin with. But... The framing... The framing of all this shit just makes it, like... Like, why? It'd definitely do better. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? Yeah, just give Madison palettes and pallets and pallets to drop. Neighborhood. People talk. And borrowed time. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Yeah, there's also she has no reason to really be involved in the story. She shows up and like. Shame. Is just like I was an instrument in the story. Marvel She's like Street? the least character character. Even Norman Jaden has like ten times more depth than she does. I don't remember if you find out more about her like life and shit, but I'm pretty sure you don't. You're not drinking. I almost pressed fucking the wrong button again. I am. Um, I'm. I'm not really thirsty. Like I'll get your prescription. It won't be a moment. When you when you like take all of Madison's parts and put them together, it's like the opening sucks. It's like her and her underwear get like in a in a in a sequence that is just a dream and completely pointless anyways. And then like all of these subsequent sequences is just her being like an instrument in whatever's happening. And anytime anyone's asking like why are you doing this, she's like, I'm just nice. I'm just nice. God, I'm reminded of the surgical gowns in the in the closet. Surgical gowns gowns in a closet is just such a creepy move that I should remember that in the future. Like, not for like, not for real life, but for stories and shit. That's like good for like a horror movie. Something so creepy about, especially if they're not like a doctor. Wait, why can't I leave? Oh, oops. Hi. Really? <laughs> there was zero fanfare. Whoops. Uh oh.
Yeah, just surgical and medical supply, supplies in a household to me is like really um is really off putting to me. I remember going to see a friend who does work who works um who works in that especially during COVID that a bunch of medical supplies at home. And I was just like, Ooh, these these things it's so rare that you see those things in a house. It just feels so weird. Or we're going from uh, we're going from Madison's terrible scene to this uh, another uh, fantastic David Cage stereotype. I was giving you a heads up on that. That's a that's a two for right there. I think after this though, the game is like not as egregious. I don't remember anything. We've gotten through the 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 two big stereotype scenes: the the convenience store stereotype and the now this stereotype. It was funny. I was looking this game up and I was on GameFAQs earlier today and I found posts from like 10 years ago being like, what's with all the stereotypes in this game? What you doing in there? Like, look at this shit. Jayden. I remember yeah. seeing a post and it's like, Can we talk for a minute? this person posting, yeah. what's with all the stereotypes in this game? I'm looking and I remember the subsequent post Chevrolet being like, I think they were I just lazy. How the car got here, whether you stole it or not, I just want to know who bought it from this is also, I think, one of the first non-white people man. with a speaking Don't role, a aside from the other one, which is the the gen the uh, stereotypical Perhaps brown person owning a depart uh, convenience store. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. <laughs> you trying to scam me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Okay, bye. The blue Chevrolet is my only lead. Oh no, I don't want to get to the blue sickness. I want I I had Norman Jaden die in my first playthrough so with Ari. You never know. So I want to keep him alive cuz I genuinely don't know what his ending is when he doesn't die. Not much help, this so-called Mad Jack. He's either clean as a whistle, or else he's got something to hide. Tuba trip to Kane. Got it in my pocket. <laughs> Make a song about hours. that. I've got less than 24 hours. Of Ooh, Norman, your shoes. Alive. Traces of blue paint. <laughs> <laughs> Traces. Hands out to this fucking massive outline of blue paint. Yeah, strange, strange, strange chalk outline for the body there. Seems that the the victim was in some sort of box. Feeling sick. Got the sweats. Hands are shaking. Hope this works out all right. Why do they let me look at this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This game. But there's literally nothing in here except for that. What's the point? Merry Christmas. Every non-white character is a stereotype of some kind. Yeah, I think there's only two of those, if I'm fairly sure, from what I remember. Is this dude and the convenience store owner. Unless I'm mistaken. But hey, that's gonna get rectified when we play Detroit Become Human. Because that's all about, you know, the intricacies of race equality, right? Like, we're that- we're, and I'm sure they're gonna hit it out of the park. Right? I think David Cage is going to end racism with that game. I think, I think, I think everything's going to be fine. Like, David Cage and, and the soundtrack is by David Guetta. Like, come on. These two people, 
They're going to end racism. Where, what do I do? Oh my god, he looks so sad. Oh my god, Norman. He really doesn't want to be here. David Cage said Detroit Become Human was not about racism. Oh, what is it about then? Rob it's about robots, right? Robots, it's about robots. I don't trust this guy. Better have a look with Ari. You never know. Wait, do I actually have no choice but Better to use the with Ari. goggles? You never know. I don't think I have a choice. Better have a look with Ari. You never know. Better have a look with Ari. You never know. It's about sad robots growing up. Oh, never mind. I guess as long as I don't use the Trypto Forba, Jiba Forba, or whatever it's called, then I'm okay. Not much chance of analyzing anything with this mod. Might oh. stand a better chance of finding something in the garage. Do I want to know something about Norman's mechanics? If it'll help me keep him alive, I'm interested. I want I want him to stay alive. Oh, it's mildly spoilery. Oh, maybe not now then. Fingerprints. Probably Mad Jacks. This dude likes TV. Likes to open the mini fridge and drink out of his canteens. Dangerous. Yeah, I'm, that's that is kind of what makes me want to play Detroit Become Human because I remember I saw that scene of. I can't believe they didn't say it's about racism. I can't believe they denied that. That's fucking. Jesus. They quote MLK in the main menu screen of Detroit Become Human? Oh my god. That's make me want to play it. I want to see how hard they fumble that shit because I know it's going to be just absolute clown fest Why am I, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing right now I didn't save I mean, it, it auto saves, but I don't think I'll have to back out of this sequence. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I forgot to scan the spray paint area. That's my bad. I might want to save. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. I think probably at this point in the story, Norman Jaden is and die i'm assuming so i'm just gonna do that just in case i think we're starting to get to the point in the story where characters can die wow the last save was at 1203 that's pretty wild all right we're gonna play for like another 20 minutes or so and then once the sequence is done 
I'm gonna wrap up. And then I'll probably do another stream next week. I think that'll probably be I'll be able to finish this game off. Gary comment. Traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage. And then we're going on to Detroit Become Human, probably towards the end of August. God, your shoes are dirty. Mm, not the car I'm looking for. Oh, is there nothing here? Really? Jackson Neville. Oh, that's the this character. So, nothing new is being learned right now. Blood. Oh. Now, why is there blood here? That's new. A plus for blood. Look, like we got enough info. We can go ask him why there's blood in the garage. Oh, oh something goes into here. <laughs> That's uh, pretty telling. <laughs> Looks like we found some evidence. I've got my VR goggles on. You don't want you don't want to mess with me. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. You enjoy it the way you enjoy. <laughs> My glasses. I was going to ask oh, about the skull. In the ass. <laughs> Impress? What? Damn. Oh. <laughs> you out of your motherfucking mind, man? Oh, shit, Jack. Ain't nothing to it. Why was that impressed? Self-defense. Page one of the police manual. Kill or be killed. <laughs> what is that Stop voice he's doing? What is this I'm to remember some things. <laughs> what? You, you be cool. Uh, I'll tell you the tale. <laughs> well, I don't know nothing <laughs> about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car. Get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. Said I paid one of the police, man. Whoa. <laughs> 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 
Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. That reminds me of when Shelby got shot the and then you're under arrest. You have the right to remain And then silent. suddenly like Anything. everything uh oh. Uh oh. Shit, not now. VR sickness. Anything you say can and will be. Hey. <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. Oh, you have no choice but to take the trip, though, do you? Oops. Oops. What? They letting you dope heads in the <laughs> FBI now? God bless America. <laughs> uh, whoopsie. No, I remember. I remember. I failed that QT as a kid, too. And then there's the whole thing with the tractor, right? Yeah, I remember this. I remember this. Yeah, I remember this. I left my other gun in. <laughs> Keep cool. I... <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> Friggin' cop. Oh, shit. <laughs> the bath? Quick! I can't find some way out of here or I'll be chewed up in the goddamn crusher! <clears throat> Is that Black Eyed Peas playing? Whoa! Holy shit! What the? How did you do that, bro? Whoa! I remember this, yeah, totally completely. Whoa! What? Oh. I love that he's driving away. <laughs> he's actually taking the time to drive away. <laughs> he's like, whoopsie. I'm gonna go park this thing. <laughs> Oh. What is this music? I thought a YouTube video started playing. What? This is so out of place. It sounds like completely different audio quality too. This sounds like a YouTube rip. It sounds so compressed. This fucking him laughing in the background too. <laughs> he just tossed me and ran away like a kid. Oh my god, I forgot that's how this ends. That's so stupid. Wow. 
Amazing. Amazing. Incredible. And he didn't give a shit, too. He, it happened, he's just like, well, that happened. Well, that was awkward. So Wait, this scene is important. The origami killer killed Manfred. That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? Twisted Pictures if is right. If he was right. even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. Oh, I remember this. Squad. Yes, I remember this scene now. I'm starting the game is starting to come together. I'm starting to remember it. Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. Great. To warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Oh, I love my fridge that says fridge. <gasps> Orange juice? The oh, fuck. Yo, look at that fucking burger. Can you see that burger? That square burger. Can we get another shot of that? Dude, look at that burger. Is that a sandwich or is that a burger? I can't tell. Whatever it is, it's fucking great. <laughs> look at that. Look at that fucking sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> That's one hell of a video game sandwich. There's a Twitter called like video game food. Send that to them. That is such a good picture. Also the massive fucking eggs. They're huge. The skillet. Should be near the sink. You didn't turn it on. I don't think you're cooking that shit, dude. Oh. Uh. 
Oh, I'm bored. Let's go look at something else. You fucking bet I'm gonna try to burn the eggs. Oh, my inhaler. I haven't seen. Eggs should be ready by now. Thank you for the gifted soup. Oh! Eggs are ready! Oh no, she's gonna roast me hard. Oh fuck, I'm so embarrassed. I hope she doesn't notice. Oh, fuck. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Oh fuck. Looks better on you. I wouldn't want to worry you, but I think I smell burnt eggs. I'm sorry. I told ya. I'm not a great chef. What's that smell? It's okay. <laughs> What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. Oh, I shouldn't be laughing that loud this late. This, Holy sh! About yeah, thirty that clients bought spare parts for Royal machines in the last ten years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of thirty clients one Pretty. by one. Oh my God! That's a lot of legwork. Except that if oh, we cross-check them with the list. What's the sm? The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Lauren, wait. God, my fucking fail eggs. God damn it. If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me. We're going to find him. What? Looks like they're just looking at the same page for like two hours. I found it, Ethan Mars. <laughs> the only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was ten. What are you gonna Ooh, do now? It was Jason. Make sure he's dead. I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? The fucking cuts every time are so awkward. I'm still thinking about him saying, What's that smell? I'm getting instantly cut off. Oh my god. The sooner we find that grave, the sooner we can get the hell out of here. She's convinced she's onto something. And here's me. Thinking we're wasting our friggin' time in this friggin' cemetery. <laughs> this girl. Hey Scott, where are you going? John Shepard's grave must be somewhere around here. 
Did anyone ever tell you you shouldn't shout in the cemetery? Take it easy. The dead don't mind. <laughs> Time to look for John Excuse Shepard's me. grave. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. It's cold. You it's raining. Know where it is by any I'm standing chance. outside. The children's graves soaked. are in the next plot. Oh, how I love my job. Thanks. I was have to really go through every fucking grave. I hate cemeteries. They depress the hell out of me. Gotta hand it to her. That girl is one really determined chick. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here I am, standing in a cemetery, pouring rain, looking for the grave of a kid who's been dead for 30 years. Oh, that's okay. I was like, mm, are they all in the same? <laughs> what? That's the grave? No, it's just the, en the entrance. RIP children plot. So it all, all, all caps going, they're kept away? Oh, did I just teleport? I they knew this section was a pain in the ass. They're like, fuck it. If, you don't, if they don't find it, just teleport them. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. That's out Italy. Gummy figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77. October, I think. <laughs> Hello, I'm here to explain the plot. <laughs> yeah, good for nothing, Hoodlin. Get the hell out of here. God, beat it, you lousy, no good brats. Come back when your fucking mother comes home from work. He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get Please. soaked if we spend a day outside. Oh, well, this fucking... won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. <laughs> this is some Steve Brule ass dialogue. This is some Steve Brule ass dialogue. Mom won't be back from work till later. She wouldn't let him treat us like this. Being out in the rain is nothing compared to being in when he's like that. Oh, these voices! John's right. We can't just stand here all day. Might as well go and play. John is waiting to give me a boost. I better catch up. These poor French children in New York. Look, there's a way out now. Why isn't this working? Oh, because I'm not tapping it, that's why. God, that was foreshadowing. We're, this is children plot. Literally. <laughs> Whoa, oh, this seems safe. Oh, 
What? What am I? What's happening? What am I failing here? What am I bumping into? <laughs> Inside is empty. Makes for a great playground. Ah, the fucking line! <laughs> Holy shit! This construction site is empty. It makes for a great playground. I love playing with my brother in the rain. That kid looks bored as fuck. <laughs> Damn, that's one strong fucking French kid. I don't think you, you can't fail any of these. I didn't change the difficulty. I just don't think you could fit. Yeah, you can't fail. Yeah, also because, yeah, that would probably change the story pretty significantly if they let you do that.
Holy cow, he's crazy. We could break our necks doing this. I am scared. If he can do it, I can do it. Wow, what the fuck, kid? Kids, yay! Let's play hide and seek. You go and count to twenty and try to find me, okay? One. Two, oh my God! They're really making me do this. Three, four, five, nine, thirteen, seventeen. 18 20 Help what My foot What what? How the, how the fuck did that happen? The heavy rain. Oops. find any help and his brother drowned in a pipe full of rainwater the boy that lived what happened to him well all I know is he got separated from his parents I, I think he that's got a lot of detail well looks like a storm's coming I guess I better be getting home all right bye all-knowing plot dispersing man what a horrible story. Hey, John give Shepherd him a break. Drowned in the rain there was a lot of detail in that story. Hand. God, that guy just told it. That guy told that story terribly. He could be the origami killer. <clears throat> Come on. Let's get back in the car. The kid died 30 years ago. Who's still tending the grave after all these years? <laughs> There she goes again. Surprising me. I don't usually like surprises. There's nothing else for us here. Let's go. Wait. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? It's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? Yo, they are not hidden at all. Look at that. Shepherd's grave. Graveyard gem. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> I think we should end here. It's well. Oh my god! It's almost one a.m. I got a new bonus, which is exciting. I think we should end things here. What's the next, what is the next section? I'm just gonna look at it just to be curious. This is the start of the nightclub sequence, Paco. This is a bad chapter. Dance club. Bonus. And when's the good chapter? 
<clears throat> Maybe we should keep this for the next for the next stream. Nightclub sequence for the next stream. I think I'm far enough into the game that next stream um I would I would be finishing it off. Now let me check. Yeah, it's 1 a.m. I have to uh I gotta Gotta wrap up. It's almost five hours. We're gonna wrap up here. And next stream will probably be the, the last Tabby Rain stream. So that that should take place next week at some point. Uh thank you. Thank you for watching as usual. Thank you for tuning in. Um I'm glad I started to stream this game. This game I've been laughing a lot. As fucking wild as this game is, I've been laughing a lot. Uh let's put some music on here. As we wrap up. So. Um, that's the, that's the stream for tonight. Tomorrow I might, I might be streaming with Gur. I don't know. I'll either just be on Gur's stream or we'll do a squad stream. We'll have to see. Uh, but we'll be doing something. Uh, we'll be doing something tomorrow. I'll let Gur announce that. Uh, so that should be tomorrow afternoon, probably at some point. We'll have to see what happens. And then Friday night, I'm going to try and get a squeeze, uh, I'm going to try and get a squeeze in. I'm going to try and get a squeeze a stream in. Um, I'm going to be, uh, probably streaming around 9, maybe 10, but probably 9 p.m. Eastern on Friday night. Uh, so there's that. So yeah, look forward to more streams. Uh, thank you for tuning in. And uh, I appreciate the support. I'll see you all very soon. If you want to catch up, if you, if you for some reason watched this stream and didn't see the first Heavy Rain stream, that's up on the VOD channel if you want to watch that one as well. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, and I will, yeah, join the Discord for more, uh, stream announcements. I've also been trying to learn how to DJ, so I've been hanging out in the music making channel there quite a bit. Uh, so if you want to follow along on that journey or learn some of, some of it yourself, you could check in there in that channel. There's a bunch of channels for a bunch of stuff. It's a tight place. So let me just exit this game right here. <clears throat> and check out the Patreon. There's some cool shit there. I just recently posted a, a little playlist that I threw together. But there's some there's some game clam stuff, some exclusive stuff there. I'll also maybe start putting up VODs there as well. Like older ones that... Like really one-off like random streams that would be weird to have on the VOD channel. I might put those there. So... Um, so yeah, just hop into the, the Patreon if you want to check out that stuff. And uh, and thank you for watching. So I'll see you all very soon. Uh, maybe tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then Friday. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for tuning in. Baba.
Pulse.